Welcome to the Concrete Jungle and another episode of Planet Tacoma. As always, I'm your host, David Attenborough. Here you can have anything you want, but you better not take it from me. You better not take it from me. The Tacoma lives like an animal in the Concrete Jungle where it plays. Look at it frolic. You can taste the bright lights, but you won't get them for free. You can feel my, my, my serpentine belt. Serpentine belt. What did you guys think I was going to say? Welcome back to the Tacoma Holic channel, everybody. If this is your first time stopping by and you love everything Tacoma related, go ahead and subscribe now. We'll be best friends. Are you my friend? All right, guys, unless you have a dedicated trail Tacoma, which does sound awesome, chances are your Tacoma sees the pavement way more than the dirt. So today I'm going to go over three things you should do to keep your Tacoma safe, not from off-roading damage, but for all those other moronic drivers out there sharing the road with you. And we're getting started right now. And first on the list and probably most important is adding a dash cam to your Tacoma. It's not really so much important what type of dash cam you have, just having one. Obviously, the more money you want to spend, you can get a higher quality one, better resolution, more features. I am currently running the Thinkware F800 Pro. I did an install video for this linked right above. So check that out if you have not already. I love that dash cam. That being said, Thinkware is helping me out and I am upgrading to the new U1000 dash cam from them. So we'll do another install and sort of feature review video on that probably in the next week or two, so stay tuned for that. But again, you do not have to get the top of the line dash cams because they do get sort of expensive, three, four, or five hundred dollars plus. You can get a perfectly fine one, probably for 50 to 100 bucks on Amazon or something. I haven't tested any of these, so I'm not sure like the resolution, the night vision quality, but just having that dash cam, recording whatever's going around in the, obviously in the event of an accident, so it's, you don't get into any of that he said, she said crap where the insurance companies love to nitpick and really nail you, even though you know the accident wasn't your fault. Hopefully, as Tacoma drivers, I expect more out of you guys. So go ahead and pick up a dash cam for your truck, have that peace of mind knowing you are in the right when things go wrong. And as you can tell from these clips, you pick up a lot of interesting scenarios along the way. Next up on the list is some type of horn upgrade. I have upgraded to the Hella Supertones. You can see them, nice beautiful red color poking through my new grill. Here's another shot of them from the top. I actually just recently took the face plates off these and repainted them. Put a nice clear coat on them because they do get chipped over the years. I've had these for a while now. Don't have an install video because this is one of the first things I did to my truck way before the Tacoma Holic channel or idea even existed. So that sort of predates everything. Having obviously an upgraded horn, these are louder than the stock horn and it's a sharper tone. Sort of sounds like a European sports car from like the 70s, but it's definitely more piercing than the factory horn, which if you've ever used it, you can probably admit it's pretty weak. So where the dash cam I already mentioned helps record accidents and gets you out of blame in there. If you can avoid the accident to begin with, you're good to go and having an upgraded horn will definitely do so. Now I haven't done the Next thing I'm going to mention, but I will link to the thread below on Tacoma World, there is a Cadillac style horn you can also swap out your factory horns for. I'll put a link in the description below so you can check that out. Seems like another good one to do with more of a bassy or deep tone versus the higher pitch of the Heller Supertones. If you are interested in grabbing these though, I'll put a link down below. Again, I think they're 30 to 40 bucks, super easy install, nice upgrade. And hey, let's be honest, they look pretty cool if you have an upgraded grill. And since I'm done recording the video, I'll go ahead and record a quick horn test. Obviously, the audio on the GoPro is probably not going to record it till it's full effect, but hey, at least you'll get a 
feel for the sound of it. And I don't want to scare everyone here in the parking lot where I'm recording my video. So one quick honk just for you guys. And last on the list is the addition of rock sliders. Now I'm not saying go out and buy rock sliders for your truck if you never plan on off-roading. But I will tell you this, anyone who does have rock sliders, bought specifically for protection when wheeling, loves the fact that they also protect the side of your truck. You can see with the kick out here and the how far they're sticking off the truck. Loves the protection they add. For door dings, as you can see with my wife's Camry, which is of course locked. One eternity later. Boom, what'd you guys think I was gonna slam that into the rock slider? Please, plenty of room. The door's gonna take the hit, and I guarantee if someone opens their door into your truck with rock sliders like that, they're gonna be mad, but you know what? They can only be mad at themselves. All right, guys, so those are my top three suggestions for mods you can do to your truck to protect yourself and your beautiful Tacoma while on the pavement specifically. If you have any additional ideas, comment below. I'd love to steal your ideas and use them for a follow-up video. We can all share. It's all good. As always, thank you so much for supporting the channel by watching this video. Enjoy your week, and I'll see you in the next video. You son of a... If you have other suggestions, comment below. I'd love to hear what you guys say. Maybe I can steal a few, and we can do... <coughs> <coughs> hmm. If you have addition... <coughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>